What's up everybody? So today, we got a new project car. As you can see here, the car is all wrapped up in Christmas paper. I figured it would be a fun, festive way to introduce this car since this was pretty much a Christmas present to myself and I figured we should go ahead and introduce this to the channel in some kind of fun way since it is, I guess, it's a little past Christmas when I'm uploading this video, but for me, it's before. So let's go ahead, unwrap this, unveil it, and show it off to you guys, go over all the plans and everything. I'm sure a lot of you guys can already guess what the car is just based on that last clip, but I'm really excited to have this new project car. This is something I've always wanted, so let's go ahead and show this thing off. So now we got the car all unwrapped, you guys can see here, it is a 2000 Honda Civic DX hatchback, which I'm so pumped to have gotten this car. I've been looking for a while to get one of these cars, I've always wanted one, especially being with the EK chassis, and it is a 2000, so it's got the newer, updated style front end. Um, as you can see there, it does have a crack and stuff, which we'll go over everything as far as like flaws and uh, issues with the car and everything like that I want to do to this car. So I think we'll start with the exterior, work our way into the interior, and then go into the engine as far as flaws in the build. Um, so first things first, exterior. So starting off with the exterior of the car, you guys can see it is in pretty good shape. There is no real damage to the car, there's a few dents here and there. The main issue with this is the paint is flaking off. It's not perfect by any means. You guys can see here on the door and stuff, it's coming off on the quarter panel. The uh, hatchback is probably the worst, you can see there. And the previous owner did, uh, I think that might be like Plasti Dip or vinyl, just to kind of help seal it down. Yeah, you can see there it's coming off. So we'll need to do something with that. I'm not really sure what to do just yet because I don't have the space in here to paint. I don't really want to pay somebody to paint it either, especially when I have the ability and know how to paint. I'd rather paint it myself. Um, so I think we'll have to figure out something to do. I need to get these dents taken care of that are up here on these uh, upper panel. But I think we might play around with vinyl wrap. So before I ever go with the championship white color that I want to spray it, we can play around some colors. I'm not really sure what colors I want to play around with, but uh, we got some time to think about that. As far as the rest of the exterior of the car goes, like I said, it is completely stock. The fenders, which I'll even show you guys back here, are not even rolled. It is completely, like I said, stock. Nothing is damaged, no rust, no nothing. So that's probably the most thing I'm hyped about, just how clean this body is, how stock this body is. There is no, there's nothing really done to it. It is 100% stock, not messed with too crazily. Um, there's a few things like this car does have coilovers already on it. Um, I think they're function and forms. So I don't know how I feel about those. We'll have to do a little bit of driving just to kind of test them out. I don't know how old they are, whether or not they're in good shape. And then obviously the previous owner put some different wheels on there, which ha, I'm not a fan of the orange wheels. We're going to need to either respray those or get new wheels. So we'll see. Um, 
Overall, the rest of the body, these stickers need to go. As much as I like Strange Music and Tech 9, these stickers gotta go. Um, yeah, you guys can just kind of see here. My plans are I wanna go ahead, put the Type R style molding on there, the kind that sits back. I'd like to get that body matched, body match these handles. Um, probably body match these mirrors or else put on something else, whether it be like the uh, Type R style ones or spoon or something. I'd like to kind of go with a more JDM style build, similar to what my S14 is, just because I've got like the full JDM Koki front end on that thing. I know you guys can't see it right now, but it is all <laughs> covered up. But it's got the, um, that thing's got the JDM front end. It's got the JDM rear spoiler. So I kind of like to do the same thing I did with that car to this car. So as far as the front end goes, I'd like to find the Type R headlights, or at least the Type R style headlights, the grill, the front lip. Obviously, we're going to need a new front bumper because this one's cracked. So, like I said, I want to go like full Type R style on this car. There may be some extras that I want to do because I have been looking at bumpers, and there is a bumper that I really like for this car. Um, I don't remember what it's called. I'll post a picture of it here in the video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But otherwise, the rest of the body, it does have this wing on the back. It was or is carbon fiber, and it's really faded. The... Uh, clear is starting to come off of it so I'd like to replace this with either like OEM type R Mugen something else back window this window tent needs to go this is awful you can't see out of here um, this whole back hatch like I said paint is coming off of it nothing I can do about it right now but I like to body match this section here rear bumper needs a lip the side skirts um, what else we got yeah, really nothing too much I want to do to the exterior of the car just because I've always wanted to have like a JDM Type R Civic and this will be my first opportunity to actually play around with it. I don't think I want to get into anything too crazy as far as like a right hand drive swap. I kind of like to keep this one left hand drive, keep it USDM. Um, so that's just kind of my thought process right now. Maybe we'll go crazy and do something like that here in the future. Um, I just kind of want to enjoy the car for what it is now. I think we'll go ahead, move in on the interior now, so we can go over all of this. So, moving on into the interior, you guys can see here, it is pretty much all stock. Nothing too crazy in here, the only thing it has is a aftermarket steering wheel, which you guys can see there is not perfect by any means it does need like some kind of hub i would like to replace this like i said with a type r1 or something aftermarket whether it be like nardi or another momo wheel or something we'll see it does need a clock spring because when you turn the steering wheel with the turn signals it does not shut off so we'll need to fix that the shifter i have my moving one which you may throw in here but i don't like this whole shift thing being red it is like a shorter throw so it is kind of nice to uh drive but yeah, this will need to get changed out. The seats, I like to find some Recaros, the Type R Recaros, but at the same time, I don't really want to spend that much money because those are super expensive from what I've seen. So we may do like the same thing that Luke did in his truck, put the NRGs in here and uh, have the red one. So it does have the whole red um, Recaro style seats. And then eventually, once I do like kind of save up enough money and I'm able to do all that, I would like to put in like a true JDM style Type R interior in here with the Recaros, the red carpet, which we do need new carpet in here because if you look underneath this floor mat, it is tore up. This will eventually need to get replaced at some time. The door panels, I like to have this be red. And these door panels are not in that best of shape either. You can see there it is all cracked. Um, and then underneath here, the previous owner actually spray painted this or Plasti dipped it or something because the owner prior to him had painted it red. You guys can kind of see right here where it is like poking through the color of the doors. Same thing with these end caps here. So I need to find all these little pieces here just to go ahead and finish off the interior and make it look clean and nice. And I know like the Type R's do have like usually like where this is like a block off plate, um, the emblem and stuff. So maybe we'll do something in this area. I don't know if I want to keep the radio or not. This is just kind of, this is just kind of ideas that are coming in my head right now. And I've kind of thought about it. And uh, I don't know if you guys have any suggestions, throw it down in the comments below. Let me know. Um, but uh, I guess we'll go ahead and show you guys the trunk, the rear hatch area, because that area I'm pretty hyped about just because of how clean it is back there. Everything is there, the carpet and the rear trim piece. So let's go ahead and go back there. Oh. 
All right, so here is the rear end. You guys can see here, it still has this piece, which I don't ever see any of this stuff in Civics at all. All the Civics I looked at, this was all emptied out. They're, most of them didn't even have like rear seats or anything. So I'm really glad to have all these pieces. Um, yeah, it does not have the wooden panel or whatever that piece that just kind of sits over top of the spare tire. But yeah, the spare tires in here, everything. So this is, this is super cool to have all this. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with the back end if I'm just going to leave that stock. I mean, there's really nothing you can do back there. I may put in like some of those braces that they put in. I can't, I can't think of what those are called either. You, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about where you kind of have like that X pattern in the back just for stability. So add some bracing. Um, oh yeah. I also want to change out that. I don't want to have the emblem back here. So we'll probably put a type R one, but uh, yeah, overall that's pretty much the interior of the car and the plans with it. So next up, let's go ahead, show off the engine bay. So here is the motor, as you guys can see here, it's basically, basically a stock D16Y7. There's nothing too crazy on this besides like an exhaust from a header back and then the intake here, which it's not perfect by any means. The exhaust leaks, the intake is fine other than the actual filter itself has got some damage to it and can be replaced because it looks pretty uh, pretty worn out. But the previous owner did do some work to it. He put a new cap and rotor on there, new plugs, new wires. Um, it does need, like I said, a little bit of stuff. I'd like to go ahead and change the oil in this just to have it clean and ready and be able to look at that. It needs new belts down here, the power steering belt, the AC belt, neither one of those are hooked up. And then it does have a little bit of a leak as you guys can kind of see down there. That is from the distributor, so we'll need to get that fixed up. That way it's not leaking. But overall, as far as the plans for this motor goes, I think I'm gonna leave it in the car for now just to get an overall feel for it. Just kind of enjoy it, drive it for now. Um, like I said, it does need some maintenance things. I would eventually like to swap out to like a D16Y8 intake, just because I'm not a fan of that design. It's very similar to how my D17 and my EM2 was, where the intake kind of comes up. So I would like to swap that out. Um, but yeah, I think I kind of want to play around and maybe build this motor, do something fun with it. I've never turbocharged a car, so I think that'd be kind of cool to do, just to play around with this. And then eventually, we'd probably swap it out to something else. Like I said, throughout this whole video, I basically want to play like kind of homage to the uh, Type R. So I don't know if I want to go with like this factory B16 that this car would have came with in Japan or do a B18 or possibly a K series just because there's so many K series readily available around here. You can get like K24 or K20 and then slowly build off of that. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what motor I want to go with, but for now I just want to keep this motor in here and then play around with it. Oh, the other thing this car needs is a clutch. That is another maintenance thing because it, it catches way high and uh, that needs to be changed out. But otherwise, you guys can see here, this car is super clean. Um, it's ready to be built. I got a super good deal on this. I ended up picking it up from my buddy. So huge shout out to him for letting me buy it from him. But uh, yeah, I'll give you guys one last look over the car and then uh, we'll just kind of go over some last things that I have to say. So now you guys get to look over the entire car, basically hear what all my ideas are for it. Hopefully you guys are excited for this car, hope you guys are excited for this build. I know a lot of this stuff will kind of happen in like more or less like phases. I think initially like our phase one, if I want to call it that, will be more like a budget build just because a lot of stuff that I mentioned with like the whole Type R stuff is going to add up really quick, get very expensive, and some of those parts are very hard to find. So I just want to enjoy the car, have fun with it, learn on it and everything. So keeping the D-Series in here and uh, just kind of keeping it cost low just so I can learn, have fun stuff. Like I said, I wanna be able to do like a turbocharger and stuff because I've never got to do that before. So turbocharging the D-Series will definitely be a good learning experience rather than like swapping in like a K-Series and then turbocharging that and blowing it up just because I don't have the budget for that and uh, we're just gonna learn off of this car for now. This is definitely one of the cars that I had on my bucket list that I wanted to build. I know a lot of you guys were kind of upset that I got rid of the EM2, but 
Hopefully you guys can understand why, just because this car came up for sale. I didn't really have any more intentions of building the EM2, and uh, I've always, like I said, wanted an EK hatch. Now that we have one, we can actually get into this, have fun with it, enjoy it, and uh, build it. So, with that being said, the first thing that we're going to have to do with this car is maintenance stuff. That'll probably be here in the next couple of videos. Um, we definitely need to do oil, belts, air filter, clutch, um, suspension pieces, which I didn't really go over suspension on this car just because it is mostly stock aside from... Uh, Coilovers, it has like function and form coils, coilovers on here. I don't know how well those are. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments below what you guys think of those, but we may upgrade to something a little bit better in the future, but for now, they will work. Um, as far as like the maintenance pieces on this go, we do need new brake pads, new rotors, um, new tie rods, CV axle boots, and that might be it on there. Um, but otherwise, I would like to upgrade all that stuff as well. I need new lower control arms, upper control arms, all that stuff. Um, fully full adjustable suspension sway bars all that stuff so stay tuned for all that um, hope you guys like this video hope you guys are excited for the new car if you guys are make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what you guys think and uh, don't forget to subscribe we got like I said a lot of stuff coming in for this car and I also will be uploading a video I think tomorrow just kind of a little behind the scenes of how I ended up wrapping this, how I ended up wrapping this car with the Christmas paper I think that was kind of fun to do and uh, maybe we'll do that here in the future once uh, we get my brother his car and uh, Luke get his car over here and do something earlier in December that we can go out and get pictures and stuff. But otherwise, I guess I will see you guys in the next one.